Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a quick get ready and chat about some products I feel like I haven't given enough love to in the past. So let's dive right in. Um, first of all, before we dive in, can we all have a moment for the hair? Uh, so it's definitely growing out, which makes me really happy. I um, toned it so it's no longer as orange and that band of red that is so stubborn you can see it's still it's it's still a little bit there but it's far faded so really happy with how the hair journey is is going <laughs> um i'm you know i can finally like throw it up in a ponytail if i need to which is really exciting uh all things good so we're gonna do a really quick easy <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> It's like a little flower in my throat, frog in my throat. A quick and easy kind of summery look. Uh, and I'm starting with the e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I don't know why I forgot the name of that already, like suddenly. I was like, what am I using? Um, and this is what I use kind of in place of a foundation. Uh, yeah, I've been using it for a while now. And I'm not sick of it yet. And it has kind of, as I get, as it gets, stays really hot outside and uh, as I get more tan, I, I start switching over to foundations that have less and less coverage just because I need more flexibility. Um, so this offers me really nice flexibility uh it does come i forget i think it's like six shades that's shade four that i'm using right now uh i probably need to pop up to shade five soon just to get a little more get a little deeper on my face and match my neck a little better but we'll get there i've been lazy about it lazy about digging in that drawer let me tell you um and then I'm going to top it off with my MAC Studio Fix Prime or Foundation. I love this stuff. And it's just a little dusting to take off some of that excess shimmer. But also, I just like the additional coverage. I like how smooth this foundation always looks. I am starting to get, so I will say I've been on... Tretinoin um, for its anti-aging benefits for probably like four months now, I think so, and I'm using it consistently nightly now. I was using it every other night, and now I'm on to nightly. I am having dryness in here, uh, which is, is not unusual for me. My skin does tend to get a little more dry um, patches and little areas. But this is the area I'm noticing it most. And I think on camera, you can't tell as much. I feel like in person, you can tell a bit more. Um, this little patch right here, which is annoying. And so I might be experimenting or start to experiment with uh, more moisturizing and maybe stay, stay away from the powder as it gets further on in the summer. But we'll see. But for now, I'm really enjoying it. I am loving the use of tretinoin. I use it only at night. Um, <clears throat> and I'm using it from my decollete all the way up across my face and on my hands. And I have noticed such a lovely difference in just um, the finish of my skin. Uh, the, dark, the dark spots I feel. I don't think that they're necessarily fading so much. But... I feel like the texture on my skin itself is really lovely. It's very soft, and even when I take off my makeup, uh, my the tech my skin's texture is really nice. So I'm super excited with it. Very happy with the results. Mm. All right, moving on. I'm gonna pause y'all while I do my brows because I can't talk while I do my brows. And since I'm not editing this after the fact, I'm just gonna pause it. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I have brows on. I, um, I, I'm not going to lie. I feel like a little bit of a cheater. So I've still been using 
this stencil <laughs> um, to do my brows. So I use this stencil and my Benefit brow, Full Proof Brow Powder, which they've they've now rebranded this yet again. I, I can't remember what the new name is, but um, I have been using this to do my brows for so many weeks now, this combination. And then I'm just going to go over it with my... Um, 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. Dude, let me just tell you, I feel like I'm cheating away when I do my brows this way because it is so quick and easy. Um, once you get the hang of it, so the reality is, and I think I mentioned this before, the stencil itself is created too close together. So if you use just the stencil, place it on your nose and you do it, you're gonna end up with Sonia Cal, or Sonia Cal look, what the heck? you're gonna end up with um, Frida Kahlo brows. Not that there's anything wrong with that if you like it. I don't, I like two. I li like in Princess Diary, separate. <laughs> um, there should be two. Uh, so I don't like it, it builds them way too close together on me. So you, once you get the hang of this, like you have to place one and then you have to like pick it up and rotate it to do the second one. Uh, and it's a little bit of a learning curve and it took me a minute and for a while I was getting like one here one up here one here one this way it was it was it's been a process but now that I kind of have the hang of it and I and I like it's becoming muscle memory where I put them I'm really enjoying using it because it's just so freaking quick and I'm imagining of what it'll be like if I microwave braid my microblade my brows how easy it would be oh that's just would be a dream mm. if you're a coffee person um i drink bustelo these these are bustelo k cups that i found that are cafe con leche so they're already pre-blended with um a little bit of milk and a little bit of sugar i mean it's all powder it's fake whatever doesn't matter it's A, it's quick. B, it's a perfect cup of coffee every single time, which I love consistency. Um, and these are delicious. I found them at Walmart and I was like, what? I need them. I had tried the instant version before, not good. Uh, the K-cup version, awesome. Mm. So today, what really motivated me to chat with y'all is these sticks so I have a lovely friend who is a trainer for it cosmetics and she had given me these to test out I think last year and I had used them and and loved them and then put them away because I had eight thousand other things to try and I realized I never gave them enough love and these are amazing so these are the It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Shadow Sticks. Um, they are phenomenal. I have four shades. I don't know if there come more than four shades, but these four shades are amazing. I mean, guys, I, we're, we're going to play with them and I'll show you right now. So my favorite shade is the champagne shade. I'll actually swatch all of these for y'all. So that's a champagne she's so pretty this is more of like a silvery brown really beautiful they're all just so very neutral this is the most unneutral it's a gold it's like a true gold too look at how beautiful that is and then the last one is a brown that is a matte look at how gorgeous that oh they are incredibly easy to use they definitely like as the name implies they do not tug at all I'm gonna go in while we talk with the champagne shade so they don't tug at all they just smooth over your brow so easily I'm bare I'm, I'm not even pressing I'm just kind of like rolling it over and I have found especially on my lazy days when I'm getting ready for work in the morning and I have to get out of the house, I have to get to the office by eight, and I don't wanna look a hot mess, but I, I just don't have time to sit here and do a lot to my face. 
these have been a lifesaver. So I go on with the champagne all over and it's just such a beautiful little touch that even by itself like this, <clears throat> excuse me, even by itself like this, I've used it many a times just like this and nothing else and some eyeliner and it's beautiful. For today, I wanna play with a few more. So I'm gonna go in with the brown because this and the crease with that champagne color is fantastic. This one can also double as an eyeliner and I'll use it on top. I'm not a big brown eyeliner person. I'm always a black liner person. And then one day I was heading, I knew I was gonna go to the pool um, so I didn't want to do super black and so I did the brown and it was lovely but look at for a cream I find that creams are not always the most blendable on the eye you have to work very quickly with them uh, and oftentimes they skip these don't skip look at I mean I love working with them I I think uh, these have been slept on. I don't hear a lot of people talking about these at all. And I just think it's about time to give some love to something that exists out in the world that is already fantastic. So <clears throat> go out there. If you haven't tried them, grab, grab one of them. Worth it. There are dupes out there in the world. Um, and I have quite a few of the dupes. Um, right here in front of me, I happen to have, I don't know where the, oh, they're over here. So, oh, whoops. Um, they're way over there. <laughs> uh, I can't reach them because I'm too short. But Elf made some dupes and they had their shimmer ones and they came out with their matte ones recently uh, within the last year. They're fine. They're not as good as the It Cosmetics, so throwing it out there. I have tried the dupes. The e.l.f. ones are fine. They do they do what you would think they do. They tend to skip a little bit more. They're a little bit tougher to... They're not as soft, I guess, when I go to apply them. Uh, the It Cosmetics ones are by far superior, so throwing that out there. I'm going to go in with a little eyeliner. So I wanted to talk eyeliner real quick because... I don't talk about eyeliner enough, I guess. Um, but Persona Cosmetics makes my absolute favorite eyeliner, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna waterline with this and then tightline with it. And here's the thing: it is the perfect liner when you first get it out of the out of its packaging and you start using it. It's fantastic. What I have found, and I have a complaint, is that the tip itself is almost too small. The crayon part of it. Or no, I'm sorry, I said too small. It's almost too soft. The crayon part of it. Oh. Sorry, I think I paused there for a second because I was getting a phone call. Um, the crayon part of it is almost too soft. And what ends up happening is and when you go to sharpen it, if there's anything in your sharpener, you know, any leftover piece of anything from a previous pencil sharpening, the tip of this will just run into it and, and break off. Like it doesn't, it's not strong enough to push anything out of its way. And that's really frustrating. I ruined almost an entire pencil trying to get the, trying to get it sharpened and there was like the smallest little dried piece of a previous pencil inside that I didn't know was there. I thought my sharpener was completely clean and I couldn't, um, I just couldn't see it. And it ruined an entire half of a pencil, which is really frustrating. It also, you can see how it's kind of dulled out and it's hard to show you, but it pulls away from the casing so like right now I can only use a certain side of it otherwise it pokes my eye with the hard casing it's really frustrating and especially because I love the pencil so much so you can see like I was doing that while, while you guys while we were talking and I was able to tightline the top of my eye 
ever so gently. It's just such a great formula. And probably because it's so soft is why it's so good for tight lining. But it's also why it's really bad uh, to sharpen with. And so you end up wasting a ton of pencil. Which is a huge, huge bummer in my book. Uh, going in and creating a little mini wing on the side. This pencil is almost dry. This is a Belle en Argent. I got this in a boxy charm, which by the way, I will never remember to call it <clears throat> an Ipsy Glam bag or whatever it's supposed to be called now. It just will always be boxy charm to me. And they're going to have to deal with it. I think that rebranding was just a bad idea. We, they should have just left it as a boxy charm and been done with it. Maybe all new people will, maybe at some point, new people to the subscription box will get in there and be like, oh yeah, it's Ipsy Glam Bag. But I think for now, all of the OGs, like people who've been having, who've had that subscription for a while, are just always going to call it BoxyCharm. And I'm like, that was so silly to change it because BoxyCharm was such a cute name. It was just kind of like a perfect, a perfect little name. Keep it. Um, the last product I really want to talk about today is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm like, I feel like I keep getting gravelier. So this mascara, when I first got it, I compared it to um, my Thrive Cosmetics mascara because it is a tubing mascara, or it's supposed to be anyway. Um, and it did not get very great reviews. I didn't love it at first, um, but for different reasons than other people loving it. So I've seen plenty of reviews on this and people saying it's too wet. That's not the problem for me. I actually like that it's super wet. I love a very wet mascara. I hate a really dry mascara. So for me, I loved that aspect of it. I just didn't think the tubes worked all that great. So now I've had it for a while. I've now worked through my Thrive Black. That's gone. I've worked through the Ulta um tubing I thought I had to throw that one away finally I'm left with this one and like the sample of my Tarte tubing which is almost out and so I've been picking this one up a little more often just to just to give it a little more love and maybe it's because I'm not using any other ones consistently like I've been just picking this one up I'm like oh I I'm not hating it maybe it's because I'm not doing side-by-side -side comparisons I'm actually really enjoying it. I will say something that I don't like is the wand itself because it's got that really thin little um, what I call spiky wand, which typically I like, but for some reason the way this one goes on, I always get mascara on my actual lid um, and it drives me nuts. And I don't think that's the formula, I think it's the wand. But that's just my theory. So I always, so what I really, the look I'm going for is like a very clean look on top. But I end up getting mascara on the top anyway. Oh, great. And now it wasn't dry enough and now I have actual mascara on my, awesome. Um, what I end up, what I end up getting is what looks like a, a thicker line on my, on my lash line on top which is not the look I'm going for. I'm going for something really soft um, on the top. So, boo to that. But that's my, that's really my only complaint is that it seems like every time I use it, I get mascara transfers to my lid and just at the base of my lashes, which is really random. It's not even like it's transferring from the top of my lids to my lashes. The other thing I will say, and maybe this is because it's starting to dry down just a little bit, um, at first, because it was so wet, it was really hard to do two coats. And tubing mascaras are already difficult to do two coats with anyway. 
Um, so I'm usually doing them pretty quickly, one right after the other. This one, because it was so wet, it was a little harder to get two coats on back to back. Um, and it took a long time to dry down. So now that the tube's been open for a few months, um, the formula itself in the tube is drying down a bit. And it's easier to do two coats. So I'm like, I'm actually liking it more than I did when I first got it. So yeah, I thought I'd throw that out there. I'm still going for my little sunburn look. So cheeks like normal and then adding a little. Because I do spend, I love being outdoors. I love being outdoors, especially in the summer. I don't care that it's like 100 degrees outside. The sun calls my name. <laughs> but I wear a lot of sunscreen, so like my face doesn't, I wear sunscreens, I wear hats, I wear sunglasses, I'm covered. But my face doesn't get that cute sun glow anymore. So I'm like, I gotta put some sun glow back in. I want it to look like I've been seeing. Like I've been in the sun. And I don't have my gloss in here that I love, so I'm gonna top off with my YSL Rouge, I always, Rouge Volute. This is still my favorite lipstick formula. I, it feels so good. I've had this for what, two years now? And um, I pull it out every summer and it's always my summer color, but I'm loving it. Oh, I forgot to set, guys, I'm almost through another setter too. Are we not excited? Yeah, I know, I over, use my setters but use them or lose them use them or my little sisters take them <laughs> uh anyway yay so this is my summer look i hope you guys like some of those products like i said i can't stop saying it enough run out and pick up those it cosmetics no tug uh pencils or no tug shadow sticks phenomenal been sleeping on them the entire time I own them. I can't believe it's taken me this long to tell you guys to go get them. Um, so you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>